I'm going to show you how to use my baby announcement templates. We're going to start off with a template. As you can see, these are all in layers. Photos go way at the bottom here. You want it to be behind all these other layers. And I've already chosen the three pictures that I'm going to use. So all you have to do is simply be on your move tool, type V on your keyboard if you want the shortcut. You will drag and drop one picture there and you will see it's already behind everything near where the photos here layer is. So we're going to go ahead and transform. It is command T or you can go up into your menu and hit transform. Okay, Hold down the shift key while you drag the corner to keep the ratio. There you go till you fit there. Now you notice it's outside the box a little bit. We're going to fix that using our marquee tool and we're going to make the selection and then we're going to inverse and where that is I use my keyboard shortcuts but all you have to do is hit inverse and once you invert it hit delete that erases everything outside of the box deselect and choose the next picture V make sure you're on your move tool drag and drop again make sure that layer is underneath right there and transform again stretch it to where you want it alrighty and we'll take the next one V for the move tool transform and there we go now that we have our pictures you'll notice that these do not come with text there's copyright issues with text and you're gonna wanna use your own anyway so type the letter T for your text and you want to make a new layer on top so just click the top layer hit the T key or go to your text right here horizontal type tool and just click now our new arrival now you can't see it because it's all in white so I'm gonna select all and I'm going to pick a color I might want to pick a color from this scheme so I'm gonna try the dark purple enter and there we have our new arrival but I might want that one here so let's try that I'm gonna transform this text as well see how I like it I might want that to be black so I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna choose black maybe that looks a little bit better okay so we're gonna text again hit the T key or go to T in your menu and start typing uh, our newborn Christina weighing XYZ da 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 okay so let's say that's all of our information V for move you can move it around you can scale it with the transform tool again move it around hit enter here's where a really important tip comes in is your layer you can add layer styles such as drop shadows okay make them very big make them non existent if you're on a pattern background let's say and you wanted it to stand out a little bit more you would want to use outer glow and it's kind of hard to see here but if you were on say that background it would help it show out a little bit more so I don't really like that but if this is what you end up with and you like it what you then do is you would save it in the format that it's in which is TIFF but before you send it off to Walmart or Kmart or whatever to be printed you need to do a special save save as and you're gonna need to save it in JPEG format and what that does is compress it so that the other formats can read it when they go to print it and you want to keep your original TIFF file because it keeps it in all these layers so that you'll always have the file in case you made a typing error or you want to move the bow or you want to do something like that you can always make the change later well I hope this has helped you and I look forward to you using my templates thank you